Hey everybody, Ann here. I've already done chicken chores. I've got Papa and me are inside because it's actually cooler and it's going to heat up today. And uh, I've got the fan going so you can probably hear it in the background. Anyhow, today I'm going to figure out some creative things to do with those mushrooms, cooking them. And well, I've already got the dehydrator uh, loaded up. So uh, I need to make me some breakfast. First off, I've got some jalapeno peppers, some cherry tomatoes that I just picked, and one of those firmer uh, two-color bolete mushrooms, and it's just going to go right in the pan. Ta-da! I'm just going to dry saute this a little bit to give the mushroom a chance to, you know, release some of their liquids and the tomatoes as well. Doesn't that look pretty? This is going to be really good, and I love this pan. I don't have to add any oil to it, and it just doesn't stick at all. Love it. They're in my Amazon store thingy, so go check them out. So this has to go for, I don't know, a couple minutes, a couple, two, three minutes until the uh, mushrooms kind of melt down, you know, cook down a little bit, and release their fluids as well as the tomatoes and the jalapenos. I want them to be slightly brown too. So I'll come back in a second. I think that is perfect. I think it's ready for some eggs, don't you guys? Eggs are in and it's time to just kind of scramble things up. Yeah, I don't scramble them up beforehand. It works just fine this way. This is going to be so good, you guys. I can't wait to taste it. I think I'll add just a little bit of salt. How you doing, beautiful chickens? Rooster, <laughs> rooster, rooster, rooster. At least three roosters, but look at how pretty. I wish I didn't have to film through this little meshy thing. Look at how pretty. And I think that black one is a hen. And here's the other black one. Really hard to see. Also a hen. Look at these beautiful chickens. It is done. And since it's already heating up outside, I'm going to take this inside. I'm going to go turn on the generator and get the air conditioner going. And uh, I think this needs some ketchup, don't you? Ooh, I got the air conditioner going and a fan right on Papa so he can cool down. I got my ketchup on it. I already know this is going to be good. There's a jalapeno pepper. You know what? I want to taste just one of the mushrooms. Yeah. Just a mushroom right there. Mm. They taste just like a regular mu mushroom. Um, kind of meaty. Mm, 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 mm. So I'm going to eat this and I can't eat all of it. Mm. But I don't want Papa to get the parts with the peppers and the mushrooms in it, so I'll eat some of it and pick the mushrooms and peppers out. I don't think the mushrooms would bother him. He's had mushrooms before, but store-bought ones. But, oh my gosh, you guys. So good. It takes scrambled eggs to a whole nother level with fresh veggies in it. Oh, yes. See that? That's a piece of the mushroom, and it looks just like any store-bought mushroom, but it's tastier. What do you think, Papa? Is that good? <laughs> He's licking his chops. I'm getting ready to dehydrate a bunch of these. A couple trays of the bolites. Get this over there. Uh, let's see. More trays of the bolites. That is chicken of the woods, and the other one underneath is chicken of the woods. Does it all look like crab meat or lobster meat? So we're going to dehydrate these. I, I didn't put any of chanterelles in here because they're outside in the air dehydrator. But we're going to fire this baby up. Since I got the generator going, I may as well. And uh, see how long this takes. And I've got more out here. Uh, this is the stuff that I started dehydrating a couple days ago. It's probably done, but it's been so humid lately that I'm just going to give it an extra day. And then over here, maybe hard to see, 
Uh, I've got the American Caesar mushrooms, a little bit of chicken mushroom and the bolete, and then more chanterelles and boletes down here. This thing works great. Okay, I'm kind of bored, so I think I'm going to start dinner. Mm. First of all, I cook this in the air fryer on both sides uh, just to kind of like wilt it a little bit because this is going to be, well, it's going to be a stuffed mushroom. This is my air fryer pan and I really can't be bothered to buy those little trays anymore so I just double up some heavy duty foil, put it down in the bottom of it, and I'm going to just plop this down in there. Doesn't look delicious, does it? I gotta have something to stuff the mushroom with, so there is some rehydrated chicken, uh, freeze-dried chicken, celery, onions, green peppers, red peppers, uh, one of my cayenne peppers from last year. What else is in there? I think that's about it. Just a whole bo oh, uh, almost the last of my dehydrated squash from last year. So I kind of wanted to get it all rehydrated and it's re rehydrated nicely, so I gotta put this in a bowl. Ta-da! Mm. Next, I'm going to add this stuffing mix and just read the instructions. Two cups water, one third cup butter. I'm gonna use uh, dehydrated butter. So let's get this together. There we go. Yeah, I can't be bothered to measure, so I'm just kind of like putting in a couple handfuls of this here dehydrated butter, two cups water, and let's just stir it up. I may need to add something else afterwards. You know what? I'm thinking I may have too much stuff here. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see here. Let me get this all stirred up, and then I'll let you know what I need to add to it. I do know I need to add some garlic powder and some pepper. Just some plain black pepper. Ooh, I'm almost out. I think I'm just going to let this set for a few minutes because normally you heat the water up and then you, uh, you know, you just put it in there and then let it sit for about five minutes. But uh, I didn't do that because I'm going to be heating this all up in the air fryer. So I'm just going to let this sit and see what the consistency is like. I may need to add something else. Chains of plans. I've got this little oven safe crock from the dollar store, and I think I'm just gonna cook it in this. Yep, I think that's gonna be better because I don't want the stuffing to go all over the place. I just want it to be, and I want to be able to cut it and eat it out of this little crock thing. So I already know this fits, so I'm gonna use it. It's been sitting for a little bit, and I think it's gonna be okay. So I'm just gonna kind of scoop it in this little crock here and uh, I've got way way too much oh my gosh and you know what I think it needs I think it needs some cheese last of my Augustine Farms dehydrated cheese and since I know this cheese is gonna cook quicker than anything else I made me a little cover thingy to cover the cheese and once it's been cooking for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, I'll remove it. I made too much stuffing mix. That's okay. I can use it for other stuff. I'm just going to put it on down in this little tray thing that I made. There we go. Yeah, I had to put a little saucer on the bottom of it. I'm just going to cover it up and put it in my fridge tater. Ta-da! I got some ice down in there and some more mushrooms that I'm preserving. <laughs> Saving for a rainy day and some other stuff. All right, let's see what this looks like. Oh, yes, yes. For some reason I thought I was filming as I, and I wasn't. <laughs> I was taste testing the first time, but as you can see, I love it. It is very good with all the different stuff in it. Mmm, the cheese is crunchy on top. The mushrooms cooked great. Um, the chicken and the vegetables in there are all really there's some chicken right there. Really, really delicious. Mmm. This turned out great. And with the leftover stuffing mix, I'm going to stuff something else tomorrow. Mmm. Yep. I think this is good. I need to, you know what, I need to chop up that mushroom a little bit better so I can get a bite of it in each thing. Yummy. Good okay, boy, Papa. Staying cool inside with me. So, I gave you two ways to cook 
two color bolete <laughs> and they both turned out great so anyway that's all i got for you guys today see you in the next video thanks for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one